lovely music really um, started with um, Brother Blackett, Brother Ingo Blackett, who was one of the pillars of the church here too. And he started that in 1961 and chose a few people, got them together and they started this carol group. We were the first carolers with Brother Ingo Blackett. Sister Veronica Lake then, later by marriage Huggins, Sister Dorothy Kernan, Wade, Wade at first, and afterwards Kernan, and Sister Eugenie Huggins, and after Hector. Sister Christy Paris, Brother John Wade, deceased, Sister Yoglenda Walwin, now Henderson, Sister Doria Hobson, Amarel Hobson, Sophina Hobson, these are three sisters, Sister Gertrude Thomas, she is deceased as well, Sister Sylvia Lyman, Sister Wilda Walters, and her brother. It was very, very interesting then. And then Sister Butler came on the scene, and up till now, we have been a blessing to many. And this has been a voluntary enterprise, put in the hearts of our brother Ingle Blackett, who we remember and recall with great fondness. I'm still to find uh, another person who had the bustling energy, as the demonstrable energy, as our, our brother Ingo Blackett. I want to particularly pay tribute to brother Ingo Blackett, the late brother Blackett. Um, as a child, he was my mentor. He was my mentor in many ways. We used to go witnessing every Thursday, and he taught me how to do personal witnessing. Um, he also did a Bible study in our church. He was the one responsible for Bible study, not the pastor. And then he took up the carol group. And I want to give special tribute to his wife this evening, who is with us, and also his children, those who are here, and his family. But we are very glad for this ministry that Brother Blackhead took upon himself through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, of course, and took it of two years, then he was called on by government to go to England on a course, and then he said he looked around to find someone who could take it over from him. I didn't want to do it, I must tell you that. At first I said, oh no, oh no, oh no. But he said to me these words, Sister Butler, I've been looking and looking around, and the Spirit of God has sent me to you. He said, go home and think about it and pray about it and then answer me. Sister Blackett too needs some recognition because she stood by him and you know she has the talent of music. And she worked with him along that line. But when I took over, I did my part. But every time I have we have a recital, I always ask her to come and play at the end. While I direct, I have to give Miss Butler some credit because I think at one time I asked her wholeheartedly because when you're going to control a group of people and you're unable to practice them and have a ear of music so that you're able to discern the mistakes by some people single-handedly, I asked how she come to do it. Then I realized she was talented. I myself have been a member of the Carol Group before I left for college in 1972. I want to congratulate my aunt, Rovita Butler, for the patience and the, the tenacity that she has endured over the years by having this group. I know that it has not been easy. I know the many nights when she would have gone to bed late, when she would be tired and she would have to go to work because she was a teacher and she had to go to school the next day and um, sing carols the night before up to maybe one, two o'clock in the morning. And so um, I am very happy for her this evening that she is also able to witness this. And um, as the pastor of the church, I am pleased that our church is able to perform in this manner for so many years. 
I knew Miss Butler as a head teacher. In fact, she taught me in school at the girls school, the Charlestown girls school. But not knowing I would have met with her in a situation like this, like the Carol Group and church. I want to congratulate her on behalf of the Carol Group. I became a late member because of the kids going away. They went away to study and we were left here in the house. So I decided to follow on to the group. And after I did that, I really enjoyed going out in the evenings and sitting and chatting and laughing. We had some good times. But I want to congratulate Miss Butler. She has done a marvelous job. I don't know how one person could and would have done something like that. But she did a great job. Obviously, you've been successful with what you've done. That you, everybody knows you were a teacher for years. Um, you've been uh, a woman of integrity, a phenomenal woman, if I say, a virtuous woman in this community. Share with us your leadership style. What is it that you hold on to that makes it seem, at least to us, so easy, but something that we would like to aspire to? Number one, you have to have the love of God in you. You have to be committed to Him and His service, dedicated. Mm -hmm. And when you know you're doing it for Him, and that He delights in what we do for Him. And when we realize what, what, who we are singing about, the Christ child, who did so much for us. Though the pressure comes, you, don't, you still don't feel the pressure because that love within you for what you're doing, for whom you're doing it for. It helped me with my singing, for one. I was an altar singer. It was Beverly Wade, the late Martin at Monzac, and myself, we sang alto. And so it helped me, you know, with my singing. Also, it helped me to get to know a lot of areas in Nevis that I didn't know. A lot of areas and a lot of people. You know, I was able to meet. And believe you me, if you were to find yourself in a carol group singing at Christmas about the birth of Jesus Christ and what he came for to be our Redeemer and Lord and Savior, you will find that doing this ministry will become fulfilled. You feel you have done something that is worthwhile in life to help humanity in some measure. It's somewhat soul inspiring because truly it does um, bless me when we go out and sing um, to the different homes spreading the good news of Christmas. Yeah, I like to see the carolers as the carolers as they sing, bring not just voices but there's some degree of, of energy. I even see my good friend here Lester, I'll almost have to say a little balls to him. Um. I'm Richard Lupinacci of the Lupinacci family uh, here at the Hermitage. And we are so pleased to, uh, to honor the 50th anniversary of the Charlestown Wesleyan Holiness Choir. They have been pleasing us and bringing blessings to us every Christmas since 1979. So we wish them strength and uh, many, many years continuing on, particularly Rovita Butler, our good friend, wonderful lady. Blessings to you all. Merry Christmas. That is one of the songs that they, 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 they throw is like when we go to the hotel. It reminds them of the snowflakes falling on the window pane. And there were times that when we sing that Christmas carol, the tears from the eyes, when, you know, when, when they hear the line, the snowflakes falling on the window pane, where will you be on land or rolling sea? Come home, come home, it's Christmas time again. He was a stalwart of a Christian indeed. And I am one of those persons who looked up to him as a man of God and a man who really had a passion for serving God. All that he did, he did with a passion. And we honor him tonight in this particular um, ceremony because he deserves all of what we could ever say and even more. On behalf of uh, all of the Blackish family, thank you very much. Thanks to Sister Butler and all of those who were working and put together this fantastic um, 
ceremony here and thanks to so many people who came out. I'm sure it's Christmas time and you have your families and so on, but for you to spend the time here with us as a family and with us as Carolers, we want to say a very special thanks. I want to say on behalf of the Carol group how much we appreciate your hard work. You have made voices sing melodiously. Who is inspired by the person who has led the Carol group for 48 years to now lead? I figured that um, for the current group uh, going forward, I will appoint um, Sister Gloria Wood. I would appoint an anointer. I trust that God would favor us with someone who would take up the mantle and that other young people would also come and join the carol group. When the carol group began, it was a bunch of young people, we're all young people, and um, now as we look at the group, we realize that quite a number, or as a matter of fact, almost all of the members are up in years, and so they need to be replaced, they need to be replenished. So I'm calling on the young people of the church that they would come and join this carol group. Hey, people were to the founder, Mr. Blackett and to Sister Butler and to all the other past, present and future members. A job well done. God bless.